Before we get into the next uh, type with interior mutability, uh, I just want to uh, take one final look at cell and ref cell. We know how they work, but uh, there are about two, two or three more interesting things that I want to show you. So here I uh, just put together a, a simple book struct, and we know how lifetimes work, so we can uh, we can take stirs and then we can do you know simply just type out the uh, the name of the uh, the book and the name of the author and uh, it looks a bit a bit simpler now. Um, you know we just remember that. Uh, we say, hey, the struct has a lifetime of A, and this lives at least as long as A, and this lives as, at least as long as A. And then we have a cell and a ref cell. So uh, now we can uh, we can start changing stuff. And the uh, so here is cell, and the uh, the function I wanted to show you, or the method I wanted to show you, is take. And the interesting part of it is uh, default default. So it takes the value of the cell, leaving default default in its place. So you can see it's. Um, you know, a uh, cell will, you know, copy something out and like a kind of, uh, it's not, you know, using references. So it's, um, it's nice and isolated. And, uh, you know, let's, um, there's default and let's see uh, what happens when we, when we do that. So let's, um, you know, my book, uh, you know, we don't have to declare it as mutable. So we will just say my book dot name, and then we will take and that will take it out and leave default. So let's see what it leaves behind. So we do that, my book, and see what is left. And you can see there it is. So we have name, cell, value is this. So that is the default for stir. Uh, so default is uh, usually like in integers, you'll see zero floats or 0, 0.0. Uh, if you look at, uh, even bool has a default. So if you want to uh, see a default, you just um, do colon colon default, and um, it'll give you the uh, the default uh, value for the type. So there you go. Bool is uh, default false because you don't want to don't want to assume that something is true. Uh, same for you know numbers. You don't want to assume a certain value. And uh, default, you can implement this for your own uh, for your own types too. And we're going to do that uh, later, but uh, that is uh, just wanted to show you how default works. And then the other thing is, um, let's see, ref cell. So you'll remember last time, and I'm going to show you again because I don't want people to think that ref cell is scary. You know, the easiest way to uh, to change author here is just to say my book. Uh, you know, it's going to be referenced, so we have a star. And then you do the uh, borrow mute and um, equals, uh, I don't know, change it to uh, Robert Jordan, like that. And then you can uh, print out my book. And then you can see the my book dot author dot borrow mute, I mean. And you can see my book now has a ref cell that contains a different value. And so that's you know because we are not declaring a uh, a variable name to to be the uh, you know to hold this borrow mute uh, so you know it starts right here and it dies right away and we don't have to worry about it but then maybe you know what if you want to what if you want to you know have a reference and you know do some things with the reference so you would say my book dot uh, borrow mute um, and dot author dot borrow mute I mean. And you know, this is uh, checked at runtime, and it's not checked at uh, compile time. So you might be thinking, well, I want to use these references, but it's kind of scary because Rust is, uh, you know, my program is really big, and uh, Rust is not going to tell you tell me during compile time, and maybe it won't get to this part of the code, and it's not going to panic. And then later on, I'll find out that I actually did it wrong. So you know, what should I do here? Um, Let's see. I don't know. I didn't put semicolons there, and you can see, you know, compiles fine, and then later on it says, okay, it panicked. So here, this is uh, thankfully we have a uh, something called try borrow, and that is just uh, you know it'll try to borrow, it'll give you a result, and uh, if it works, you can use that as the uh, as the reference to uh, to change. So we can uh, we can give that a try. So let's say. Um, 
let's see, let's do an if let. So if let, uh, we want okay, and inside that we'll just call it uh, r equals refer equals uh, my book dot author dot try borrow mute. So this means, so if we get this uh, this okay, and this should be mute r. Actually, I'll leave it there, and we'll see the uh, the error message, and then we'll say r equals Robert Jordan. So if it works, um, so you can see we have a reference here, and then we're going to try it again. And uh, you know, if we do this, it's not going to uh, not going to crash. And you know, it says here, please uh, change it to be mutable, and that makes sense because we need to, uh, you know, we want to change this, so we need it to be uh, mutable. So let's try it again. And you can see it did not crash. Uh, we have this uh, this ref cell. It says, "Hey, it's borrowed." Um, and of course, we can you know do a quick, uh, "Hey, it's already borrowed." If uh, you know if it uh, if we don't get an OK, so that would be with the uh, the error. And so it says, "Hey, it's already borrowed," and uh, so that's that's much better because our program is not crashing, and then. Um, so instead, we can uh, just take this out. We have no references, and so this should uh, this should be okay now. And you can see now, uh, Mary Stewart has changed to Robert Jordan, who is another author.